Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to load a configuration file into an XDS. For this process, we will need a USB flash drive and a computer with USB capability. It is also recommended to use a USB flash drive from the vendors listed on the screen. First, I will show you how to check whether or not your flash drive is in the correct format. And if it isn't, I'll show you how to apply the correct settings. When you plug your flash drive into a USB port on your computer, it should pop up on your file explorer. Right-click the flash drive and find where it says Format. Click that. A small Properties window should appear. Under the File System drop-down menu, make sure that FAT or FAT32 is selected. If not, select FAT and hit Start. If it is, you can go ahead and hit Close. Formatting a USB flash drive will delete all existing files. Make sure the USB flash drive being used is empty. Download the attachment received from Certified Power. The files will be in a compressed or zip folder. The first thing we want to do is to right-click this folder. Go ahead and click Extract All on the menu. Next, click on Browse. Select your USB flash drive from the list. Then, click Select Folder. Click on Extract. The files will now be found on your USB flash drive. The .bin file is not meant to be accessed on a computer. The Excel file will contain a text version of the configuration settings. You may now eject and remove the USB stick from the computer. Once you've turned on your XDS with your USB stick plugged in, it should take you straight to the home screen, which should look something like this. To upload the configuration file, the XDS must be given administrative access. To do that, hit this toolbar on the right side of the screen that says Touch to Open. Once you do that, hit Menu and then hit User Level. Select Admin from the drop-down menu, and then input the password, which is also Admin in lowercase. Hit Close, then hit OK. Now the next thing you want to do is to hit System Setup. Scroll all the way down until you see Save and Restore, and then tap that. The next thing you want to do is to tap Configuration. Do not clear Flash and do not restore Factory Default. We want to make sure to only hit Configuration. Now in your Configuration menu, you will see Save or Restore. Hit Restore. You'll get a confirmation message asking if you're sure you want to restore configuration. Hit yes. Now you might get another confirmation message saying that no configuration file found in the trucks folder on USB drive. Would you like to restore configuration values from the root folder? Hit yes. User alert messages will keep track of the restoring progress. Once it reaches 100%, a message will pop up saying Configuration Restored. Now that the restoring process is complete, you'll get a Configuration Restored message. Hit OK. Then hit Done. Now when you tap Exit, your XDS will restart. It will start back up containing your new configuration file.
your configuration file is successfully loaded. You may now remove the USB stick from the XDS. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.